Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. And today we are going to take a quick look at the Wavelink 5K USB Type C docking station. <laughs> And starting as usual with the unboxing experience, I'll give you guys a few seconds so that you can see the content package. So, three, two, one, and that is it. Now, looking closer at the docking station, we can see that it has a lot of connectivity. And at the front, as you guys can see, it has four USB 3.0 ports, one audio input and one audio out, both of them 3.5 millimeter jack. At the back, it has one USB type C input, two USB 3.0, two HDMI 2.0, two display ports. And by the way, uh, it has four outputs, but we can only drive either one 5K display or two 4K displays at a time. And then it also has one gigabit port and one power input jack and a power button. Now, I did connect this unit to uh, my wife's MacBook early 2016. And what I can say is that it works fine, uh, at least with one 4K display and one 1080 display. And the only issue that I had was uh, displaying 4K in watching videos. Uh, the result is not that good. I did watch some frame dropping, which is not... Um, very good if you are you going to use this for video output now for everything else we can use it fine for uh, office productivity and so on and so forth i didn't find anything at all but as you guys seen in previous uh, talking stations that we have seen this is the usual because the bandwidth is not uh, enough to drive video at its full resolution now i must say that if you are okay with quad hd resolution for video playback or 1080 resolution then it will be fine but at 4k the video will not be smooth enough to have a pleasant experience now another situation that i did see on this unit is that it was not charging uh, this particular model the macbook early 2016 with the cable included now i didn't test yet but i will do it before editing this video with the original cable from apple to see if that makes any change and if it does i will leave the result here on the screen either if it's charging or not charger because uh, in this particular case with the early uh, 2016 macbook we only have one port and in this particular case if it doesn't charge then it's a difficult uh, decision to make now i also tested with my macbook pro early 2015 and with a thunderbolt 2 to thunderbolt 3 uh, adapter uh, it did not work so this just means that it works over the USB port instead of Thunderbolt of course if you've got one of the newest uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch or 15 inch with Thunderbolt 3 uh, you also know that the USB buzz goes on the same port so you will be fine but in case of the older MacBook Pros which is uh, my particular case it will work only over USB 3.0 now what I did was to install the drivers and by the way wavelink if you are watching this video please please put the drivers online so that we don't need to use the cd-rom which i did i do have a blu-ray um dvd player as you guys can see on the images but it would be really cool if we can just download the drivers and if by any uh, means there is one place which i didn't find with the drivers then please let me know and i'll post on the video description so that if anyone gets this uh, a unit it will be easier to download the drivers now, once we have the drivers and install them, we just need to restart the computer. And once we turn it on, it will work fine and it will display as it did with any computer with a USB type C. Now expect uh, lower results because USB 3.0 is slower than USB 3.1, obviously. But uh, in terms of results in actual uh, real world usage, what I can say and you can see on the images is that in terms of video playback, I would not uh, suggest this at all. Uh, once again, these docking stations are not meant for it, but so that you can see the results, we have a lot of frame dropping and not only frame dropping, but also screen tearing, which makes the experience really unpleasant. So uh, we can use it for, once again, office productivity, Word, Excel, and so on and so forth, uh, mail, browsing, everything actually with a really nice performance. But once we, once we put video to the mixture, it's just 
uh, it just ruins the experience. So uh, if you guys are wondering if this uh, unit is for you or not, I would think about this and not only this unit, but most of units that uh, we have tested in terms of gaming, in terms of video playback, it is a really big push uh, to pass that through the USB port. So guys, uh, if you are looking for something that it is good enough for office productivity so that you can have a window with a browser, another window with a, I don't know, a mail service and another window for uh, productivity. In this particular case, you can watch videos if you are using USB 3.1 up to uh, Quad HD and 1080 fine. If you are on USB 3.0, then I would suggest not using the docking station uh, to watch video just on your uh, computer. This Display. So in conclusion guys, when you are deciding on which docking station uh, to get, this is not a bad option at all. We just need to figure out the type of usage that we will give to it. And just concluding here in terms of USB 3.1, which was the example of the MacBook early 2016, we can get a really nice results in everything, we, including video up to Quad HD or 1080p. Now 4K with video, forget about that, but for everything else it is just great. Now the same scenario will happen if you have a newest MacBook Pro with Thunderbolt 3, so you can expect the same great results. On the other hand, if you have a computer with a USB 3.0 connection, expect lower results, so uh, you will be able to do office productivity, browsing the web, mails and so on and so forth with a really nice performance, but you will have to forget about uh, video gaming and all sorts of fast moving objects on the screen. And that is it guys, hopefully this video will help you to decide if this particular docking station is for you or not. It is an interesting solution but it will depend on our personal needs to make the choice or not. As always, my name is Roberto George and if you did find this video helpful in this particular case, don't forget that usual thumbs up and as always, I'll see you on the next one.